Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In our lesson for today, we're going to learn about the repeat until loop. Let's get started by going to our service script service. Click on the plus sign and add a script. I'm just going to enter the keyword repeat. Hit enter. The system automatically fills in the until for me. So basically, the repeat until loop it's going to execute whatever in between here until a condition is met. So let's put in an example. I'm going to declare a local variable i equals to 1. And I want to repeat printing. I'm just going to print the value of i equals to concatenating that with the value of i. So I'm going to keep doing that until this condition is met, where I'm going to say i is greater than 5. So when i is greater than 5, I want to exit the loop. Otherwise, I want to loop back up and keep printing again. All right. And with, uh, with any loop, you need to increment your counter. So my counter is i, and I need to set i equals, or maybe I'll do i plus equal to 1 which means i is equal to i plus 1. So when I start out, I set i equals to 1. First, first thing it does is it printed i equals to 1 here. And then it moves to here, i becomes 2. And then it checks, is 2 greater than 5? No, 2 is not greater than 5. So it loops back up, it printed i equals 2. Then it moves to here, i becomes 3. And it keeps doing that until i becomes 5, it printed i equal 5, then i becomes i plus 1. So i is now 6. When i is 6, it's not going to go back up, but it's just going to exit the loop and does whatever is after the loop. Let's print uh, out of the loop. And let's play to test. And here it is. Let me uh, just open up the script. So I have i equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As soon as i becomes 5, it printed i equals 5. It added 1 to i, so i becomes 6. 6 is greater than 5, so this condition is true now. So it exits the loop, and it printed out this statement out of the loop. That's how you use the repeat until loop in Roblox. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. And if you are looking for some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, I would recommend going to our PriceCP Roblox YouTube channel, click on the playlist and go to our PriceCP Roblox Extreme Short Series. In this series, you find that the lessons are taught at a quicker pace. So it's probably not the best for new beginners, but for beginners with some experience in building like yourself, it's probably perfect for you. So give it a try, check it out. And until next time, happy coding.